The job of management is not to motivate staff. There's another lie for you. The job of management is to hire motivated staff. Otherwise, you're going to go nuts. Do you know that in my first year with uh, Swatsko, my job was running sales on a national basis, and I had five state managers reporting to me, all much older than I was. I was 28 at the time, very nice guys, all well entrenched in their markets. And every single one of them, even though we came together as a group to determine which way we were going to go, I didn't dictate it, we talked about it. And then they would go away and just do whatever they wanted to do by their own agenda, like as if I wouldn't know. Well, that was my job to know. Every good manager knows what's happening. They work backwards from their customers, not forwards from the office. So these people are always asking expensive questions of customers. What's an expensive question? The opposite to a cheap question. What's a cheap question? No thought or effort whatsoever. And business abounds with cheap questions. I'll give you an example. Lady rang me recently. Is that John Lees? Yes. Uh, I'm from Diners Club. We've just introduced a new corporate credit card service. Would you like to hear about it? I said, no, thank you. She said, okay, bye-bye. What's that all about? Who's allowing her to make calls of that nature? She didn't even explain what it was. And it happens all the time. Cheap questions. Are you interested to hear about this? Would you like me to show you that? This is a weak question. No thought or effort whatsoever. Sounds as if you're not serious. And if you're not serious, why should the customer be serious? So remember, sell, pleasure, first, price, last. You can't escape price. It's impossible. Where's the price of a book, front or back? Back. Does that mean it's unimportant? No, it's got its place. You ever been to a bookstore and said, have you got any $11 thrillers? <laughs> you don't do that. You don't think like that. Don't allow customers to think like that. What is the greatest enemy of intelligence? Insensitivity. Because if you don't understand the impact of what you do on other people, how can you improve the situation? How can you solve a problem if you don't know you've got a problem? What do the executives say? Oh, well, obviously, if we're not getting feedback, then there aren't any problems. Yes, there are. Who are the greatest experts on the service you give? The people you give it to. So don't tell me you have teamwork unless customers are involved in meeting with you on a regular basis because they should be part of your team, in my view.